Peter Barlow, a cardiologist. Now, you might have been dispensed a medicine called Ticagrelor after you've been in hospital and have had a stent placed. Well, let's find out all about this medicine. Now, Ticagrelor is one of the newer generation types of medicines that we use to prevent clots from building up inside our vessels. And in particular, to stop clots building up inside our arteries around the heart that cause heart attacks. It's a medicine that is used in patients who have been diagnosed with some type of heart attack. Now, a heart attack, we've had a different episode on what a heart attack is and uh, if patients have had chest pain and one of the blood tests called a troponin is abnormal and raised and they've gone into hospital and they've needed to have a stent placed to treat a blockage inside a narrowed artery well then we know in that situation ticagrelor often in combination with aspirin is a very useful medicine to prevent further clots from building up inside the arteries causing future complications. We have had a previous video on clopidogrel, and that's also another type of medicine that we use to stop clots from building up inside the arteries, and also commonly used in those patients who have had stents. Well, ticagrelor is a newer type of medicine that has been shown to be effective at reducing the risks of complications, particularly one called thrombosis or stent thrombosis, a buildup of clot inside a stent. And in particular, in the first few months, as the body is getting used to the stent, well, this medicine acts to prevent the body's platelet cells causing this, these little clots and causing complications. Ticagrelor is used as a oral medicine and it is dispensed at a 90 milligram dose. One tablet in the morning, one tablet in the evening. That is as distinct to clopidogrel, which is the other type of medicine that we use, that is once a day. Ticagrelor is used in combination with aspirin, and the duration of which is determined by several factors, as we have spoken about previously in our stent series, and that can be determined by the type of stent, where the stent has been placed, the complexity of the blockage, but we usually say that this treatment will be around 12 months in length. Now, it's very well tolerated, but because it is stopping the body from developing clots, it can cause easy bruising. You might knock yourself. You might find that even with minimal trauma, you come up with some bruises. But also, more worryingly, we need to be careful of easy bleeding. So if you nick yourself, you're more likely to bleed from that site and might need a bit more time to just control that. And we are always mindful of any major internal bleeding. And one of the symptoms to look out for is if there's any change in bowel habit, particularly bowels turning dark, then that is an important time for you to seek health advice and get that checked out. Ticagrelor is well tolerated, but there is a known side effect that in some individuals, they may experience this sense of shortness of breath. It's, a, it's an unusual type of symptom whereby even doing minimal exertion or even just having a conversation, one might feel a sense of difficulty catching their breath or having to breathe and sigh deeply to catch their breath. It is a side effect known of the medicine. It can often improve with time, but if it's not settling, then there might be alternative medicines that your doctor and cardiologist will prescribe for you. So please do get that checked out. So again, a short video on the use of this drug called Ticagrelor. It's often combined with aspirin. It's one of the agents that we use for patients who have had a heart attack and have had a stent placed and hopefully you found that useful. Until the next video, bye for now.